Welcome back everybody. Today we are up in northern Wisconsin and we're gonna hopefully have a little walleye beatdown going on. Um, game plans for today, shallow flats. We're hoping to catch some walleyes really shallow, anywhere between three to you know 10 feet of water. Hopefully we don't gotta go any deeper. Um, the water temperature is sitting around 45 degrees right now and we're on a super clear lake so we have Super overcast guys, it just got done raining this morning, still sprinkling a little bit here, um, and hopefully we're gonna catch them. We're gonna be throwing probably a mixture of plastics, swim baits, crank baits again, just like the last video. All right guys, well we have made it to spot number one, and it was a cold boat ride, uh, but I'm just gonna give you guys a little breakdown of what I'm using early spring walleyes um, this applies to pr literally pretty much anywhere you guys can fish but number one hair jig can't go wrong super finesse uh, the water's super cold they're gonna bite that any day of the week jerk bait this is one of my favorite bites in the springtime um, pretty much anything that runs in between that five to eight foot uh, works fantastic these mega bass i just kind of splurged into this year they're not cheap but they do get the job done they cast a mile and then you can't go wrong with just a standard kitex swim bait jerk minnow jr these things are will do really well as well and then if you're looking for a little bit bigger profile bait i recommend something like this the champ swimmer these things are amazing especially with their hd colors so Basically, soft plastics, hair jig, jerk bait, trifecta, it'll get the job done. So stay tuned and uh, hopefully we're gonna catch a couple right now. All right, well, we're gonna start off with something a little fun this morning. We're gonna start off with the jerk bait. Number one in the morning on the jerk bait. Didn't take too long, only uh, probably about five minutes in here. Just nice northern Wisconsin walleye. Could be a good eater, but we're not eating them. Hey now, hey now. What a beautiful little walleye. There's one. Switched over to a hair jig. They weren't biting too well, actually. Thought I'd try a little something more finessey. Looks like a decent one. Oh yeah. Screw this guy up. <sighs> Nice healthy looking fish, for sure. We'll get this guy back here. So I just switched over to a, a little hair jig. This is a on the fly tackle hair jig. Pretty dynamite color, purple chartreuse. 
but uh, you know they were not biting the jerk bait and I threw some plastics around for a little while didn't seem like they wanted it I could see fish down there so tried a little something more finesse and that one took the bait so we're gonna keep ripping the hair jig and hopefully we'll smack a few more You can see them all on the 360. There's a nice pot right here that I'm pitching at. Hey, look who decided to show up this morning. A little late, but that is my good buddy Nick Goslin. He showed me this lake, so shout out to him for uh, letting me come smash some walleyes out of here. Let's see what he's up to here. Oh yeah. Bad one, not a giant, but just throwing a swim bait, just moved spots. I think absolutely engulfed it. So send a picture to Nick quick since he was just over here. And we'll let him go. Just a giant. Ja. 
giant. Another dink. It's a weird place for you to bite the jerk bait, bud. All right, well, he attempted, swinging a miss, got him anyways. All right, well, it's time to wrap her up here. We gave her our best. And we did pretty good today. Um, not gonna complain. Trolling water's dead, fully dead. Can't even uh, turn it anymore. Last three days uh, of fishing, so it's pretty good. But we're gonna head back to the landing right now and we'll see you back there. <laughs> Refreshing. Well, we made it back to the landing in one piece, thankfully. It is windier than anything I've ever seen out there. She's blowing like 25 miles an hour right now. This is not even a very big lake, and my floor is absolutely soaked. So we're going to head on back to Minnesota, and hopefully we are going to crush some walleyes on lax on opener. Until next time, see you guys on the next one.